What's up guys? How you all doing there? So thank you firstly, thank you for clicking on my video and I appreciate your time. Here we'll be watching the 2018 Key Stage 2 Paper 1 Arithmetic Paper. Whew. And I here I'm going to do a complete walkthrough and breakthrough of all the questions. Okay, so how about we just jump straight ahead and start from question 1, yeah? And first thing I want to say, as always, you only have 30 minutes to complete this test. Okay, this video might be longer or shorter because I, I want to know at this stage in time. Probably be hopefully around the same time. But as always, 30 minutes to do and you must always answer in this blue box. Okay. Otherwise, let's just jump right in. I'm, oh yeah, so for every question, I'm going to try and show you strategies and nice techniques to solve these, yeah? If you already know the answer, great. Move on and skip ahead in the video, yeah? For everyone else, I'll show you fast moves. Now, 1. 39 plus 673. The trick here is to rewrite 39 as adding 40 first and then adding one and then minusing one less. So 673 plus 40, so four tens added to six seven tens will give us 713. So 67 plus 4 is 71. Minus one unit, you should get 712. Alternatively, we could have done 673 plus 39. I mean this is the safe way and this is fast. 3 plus 9 is 12, so 2 carried a 1. 7 and 3 is 10, plus 1 is 11, carried a 1, and 6 and 1 is 7. So yeah, you pick your method, yeah? So just try and do the fastest way because you've got 30 minutes. Next one, 2. 9 11s take away 4 11s. Well, because the denominators are the same, we just plus or minus the top. Because we subtract, it'll be 9 take away 4 is 5. So 5 11s. Easy. Question 3. Double 45, 2 times 45. So if you already know the answer, it should be 90 because double 45 is 90. If you did not know that, I would partition this. I would do 2 times 40 first and then 2 times 5. So two, the easy way to do this is 2 times 4 is um, 8 and then stick a 0 is 80. 2 times 5 is 10 and then add them up, you get 90. Easy. Next one. Now, 838 divided by 1. Well, this is this is just, you don't even need to think. Anything divided by 1 is itself, so 838. You're splitting, for example, 838 pies by one person, so he's obviously going to eat all them pies, so that's why it works like that. Number 5, 99 divided by 11. So this is timetable facts. We need to know how many 11s are there in 99, and well, it should be 9. And why we should know that 9 times 11 is 99. This is just timetable facts, yep. If you're not sure about this one, review your 11 times tables. And honestly, 11 times table is easy. The first nine is just the same digits. 11, 22, 33, all the way up to 99. And then it gets a bit weird, but we, we need to know by heart. So, number six. Five times four times ten. Now, the trick is, is do five times four first, which is 20. Anything times ten, you add an extra zero, so it'd be 200. Easy question. 7. 7064 minus 502. Just to be safe, use the, the the column method, yep. Always make sure you line up correctly and line up tens, units, hundreds, and thousands. So just do what you always do. So you've got 4 take away 2 is 2, 6 take away 0 is 6. You cannot do 0 take away 5, so you borrow off the 7, so borrow 1, so it becomes a 6, and it becomes a 1 here, so you get it becomes a 10. 10 take away 5 is 5, and 6 take away nothing is 6. So that's your answer, 6,562. All right, not bad. Number 8, and of course number 9 as well. 6 to power 2, so this means 6 squared. 6 squared plus 10. So 6 squared literally means 6 times 6, which is 36. So now we've got 36 plus 10 is 46. Quick. Number 9. 56.38 plus 24.7. Oof. This one is easy, just a bit long. Again, line up the, in this case, the decimals now. So always line up your decimals. So you've got 56.38 and you've got 24.7. And if you've got a gap, just put a zero. Okay, always never leave your gaps uh, empty. Just always put a zero in. So now we have to add them, which is again, as always, and line up your decimal place here. So you've got eight plus nothing is eight. 3 plus 7 is 10, so 0 carried a 1. 6 and 4 is 10, plus 1 is 11, carried a 1. 5 and 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8. Now, I just want to say a few things, yeah? Just a little tip for you guys. When you do these kind of questions, 
and always try to find strategies try and find number bonds to 10 or number bonds to 20 for example i always did six and four i did not do one plus six is seven and then count four to make 11. it's a bit awkward always do six and four is 10 and add the extra one three and seven is 10. sometimes it's just just look at the numbers just think number bonds to 10 can i do that yes and then add the rest it's very easy and there's a high chance you won't make a mistake but anyway guys, if you've enjoyed this video so far, please give me a like, you know, and share with your friends, share with your teachers, your colleagues, share with everybody. And yeah, otherwise, I shall see you guys soon.